She's a dangerous day to be a garage sale cook, eh? It's been a minute since I've done a garage sale video. That's purely because I haven't really been to it much this year. I get up in the morning, nice and early, start doing some stuff, and I notice they're spread out absolutely everywhere, and I haven't found it just a good use of my time. But today's a different story because I have two legends that I'm going with. First time they've ever gone hunting together. You've seen both of them before. <laughs> and we had a really fun day and we got some fun stuff. So let's get into it, cop. First one down, Brett's only one to get something so far. He's got his docks. Just a, just a pair of small docks. A couple of bucks. A couple of bucks, that's yeah. a beauty. I've got nothing, so. <laughs> uh, first one's out. We just went uh, bush bashing before we were driving to get here, but we got here just. Mm. Uh, we're in the middle of a stick, so we've got to get back into town and get into these other garage sales before the other pricks get to them before us. There is. We cross paths down there, you can definitely do it. Let's go to Woolies to get cash. Didn't, uh, didn't get much, mate. Oh, mate, that was a bit, a bit bust, was it? Yeah, I got nothing. You got a pair of dogs for two bucks. Yeah, I'm running dry. These blokes are fucking hopeless. So we've got Steve jumped in bo on board now. So old uh, Franz Fines, you remember him? He needs a piss. Garage <laughs> sales are about to start. And Brett needs to get money. Unorganised. And I still haven't bought nothing. I've been to two and bought not a fucking thing. Actually, yes, I have. Bought a couple of Makita. Good, good day for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is it out in the shed here or in there or? Uh, this stuff generally, we're yeah, still bringing yeah. stuff out of the shed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's, but the stuff on the front porch there. We yeah. can go and have a look in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, just like. Tools, four wheel drive stuff. Yeah, not for me, nah. Usually on the hunt for old AFL stuff. Something brutally deflating happened to me on this day, and it's the second time I've been hurt with this particular item. For anyone that knows and loves retro rescuers, we would have seen in one of their videos the Uncle Fester globe head that they had. And that's something that I have been wanting just for a personal keepsake. I think that thing is bloody amazing. And a little while ago, there was one at a garage sale. I seen it in the Facebook ad. I questioned them and asked them if it was available, but they'd already sold it for $20. Ah, that hurt my feelings. I found another one and we went to a place where there was four garage sales all in the one area and we kind of split up and then myself and Steve ended up at the same one and there was stuff all in the driveway and I seen the Festa head. <laughs> I seen the bloody Festa head sitting there in a box in the driveway and I went up and I picked him up and I asked, how much is this bad boy? You beauty, I've got my hands on it. I don't really care what it's worth. I'm just buying it. And she said, no, it's not for sale. So this thing's in the friggin' driveway and it's not for sale. There's stuff everywhere. Stuff absolutely everywhere, not for sale. So I didn't get the fest ahead. She took it and put it inside. And then anyway, she came out with a, a big box of cigarette tins. And I asked, you know, I sell a lot of that stuff. How much for the cigarette tins? Oh, I don't know yet. I haven't sorted them. Safe to say we got nothing from that garage sale. <sighs> Except disappointment. So I finally got something decent. It was this kick-ass toy. It was 20 bucks. And I remember back through COVID, I did actually sell this one for 100. So I'm gonna try again. I don't think I'll get that price, but I'm gonna list it at that because there's others listed around that. And while I was doing that, Steve was next door having a whack. An actual whack. We're just having a bit of a whack. Yeah, my mate was looking for just a second-hand buggy recently. 
It'll probably fit. Well, I've got a little bit of money in the box, Barbie, and I thought, see, that might be worth a bit of money, it's more than a dollar that I sold it for. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, that's a little bit of a service. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So yeah, yeah I probably shouldn't have, but I'm oh, well. getting a bit desperate. Yeah, the panic set in. I think that might be. I didn't think I put anything in your boot. I don't, well, no, I don't think so. I had a quick look. It's a very light. Through. I think you've done well, mate. I think you've yeah, brained yourself. Done all right. We've got a little bit going on here. See, that's like myself and Brett. So we haven't really got much ourselves. Possum tarot as well. Green cards. That was just a, a punt. A yeah. couple buck punt. And that's a... I've sold them in before. Yeah, how did you get I, I, I had one with tags. Feeding rock. I don't know what I got for him. Yeah, the crickets will breed in that for the turtle. Oh, so that's uh, going home. That's personal. Yeah, I'll wait till after Kate's birthday to watch the video out because I've got some bird. <laughs> that's not that, is it? No. Nah. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. That's all. No, no, don't say it. She wouldn't want that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it cost $1,000. That's pretty too. sweet. Yeah, she said they fell down, so I have to maneuver around a bit. I saw you looking at these. Right? I thought they were like foot rot. Oh, there is some foot rot. So that one will go all right. 20 cents. Shit. And then I'll just bundle all Like, this is all that earth garden. You'll turn into a book, man, for sure. Yeah, I like the books. That's like, that's the first earth garden book. Second earth garden book. So they... You're go talking out. about it like you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there going. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, cool, garden, gardening is, you know, people love that stuff. <laughs> no, that's all right. There's a few bits and pieces. I've got me big fucking saws. We should have a fucking saw fight. A grinder fight. Right, grind off. Grind off. Is it up for that, isn't it? <laughs> I don't have a chainsaw in this shit, do you? Gr grinder? Yeah, I was on that once and uh, <laughs> can't really remember what happened. Was it, was it, it's about power tools, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, Big shaft for a little knob. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a bit little. Ready. Fight. <laughs> I'll have to get back through. I think it's 20 bucks each. 30 each or 60. No, I think you did, you did 60 for the two, didn't 60 you? 60 for the two, was it? She wanted 30 No, yeah, she wanted 40 each, I think. Yeah, right. It's a bit stinky. And you just kissed it. Yeah, I don't it. even remember. I'll sniff it. I'll kiss it. Just sniff it before you taste it. Oh, I've got the, um, I've got the farms too. What phones did you get? Oh, sugar. <laughs> Fuck now. That's fucked now. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was my phone. I don't know what that is. What is that? No, man, it's five bucks. HTC or something. Alcatel. Yeah? Oh, Alcatel. Oh, yeah. Alcatel. Hopefully some dirty photos on there of old June that's so <laughs> yeah. The disc man. I'm gonna roll with this man. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Cool. No well, complaints with that. Did well. So it was a pretty right. pretty quiet sort of a day, but it was fun. It was a good day out. Yeah. Thank you, lads. Very good. Let's do it again. So there's a monster of a morning out there on the hunt with the boys, and it's bloody hot to start though. But I'm gonna go and do a top up at the market. Um I'll show you a couple other things. I got off some local legends. Last night I popped around to Blake's. You know Blake, he's been on this channel. Uh, he picked this up in one of his videos. You can swing over and watch it. And he hadn't sold it yet, so I've bloody bought it because you know I love me footy on that Vivid tag. So I've given him 60 for it. I think he said he paid a tenner or something. I did sell one of these last year for 200. Um, I know he sat on this for a little bit, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, flog this off for at least 100 bucks, come on. We'll see if we can get 40 out of it locally, otherwise I'll put it up a bit higher on eBay. And then shout out to Corey, remember Corey? And Duvalaki, uh, Mick, the Essendon scumbag. Hit me up because he had a uh, pretty cool block man here, the doggies one, and well, that's a personal, 10 bucks on that, and then we got the other stuff too. So that's pretty sweet. I don't think these go for a whole lot, but um, ah, it'll go up in there. Doggy's Corner or something, bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, shout out to Troy, he found that in an oppie, gave me that one. So sort of similar shit going on there. 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you very much, Corey. And this is a beauty. Where can we put this out? We'll put this out on the, the trusty table. I'm in the middle of uh, sorting some stuff here again. <laughs> Look at this bad boy, the car heart. This is thick as thick. It's a bit of an older one, I think. So it's a bit of a wash, but um, 2XL, that's a beauty. So he just said make an offer on that. Give him 20, I think I can get probably 60 to 80. Um, maybe a bit more, we'll see how she cleans up. But yeah, that's a, that's, that's a decent jacket, that one. And look over there. It's the pedo bear. There's a few of them, so it's a 2001 Humphrey. Uh, this is a modernish one too, 2002. So he's got his tags, he's a little one. And uh, this one I got off Mick. So Mick um, sold this one to me quite some time ago, actually. Give him a tenner for that. So um, a tenner for that and then 25 for those two. I might put this, oh, I'll put them both on eBay, bugger it. Um, this hat's come off a bit there, but I've actually been selling some of my Humphreys too. So yeah, all right, pedo bear, get up there. This one's really cool. I've never seen one of these before. Even though it's a modern one, I usually get the ones from the 60s. But... I used to pay okay dollars for the Humphreys because they were selling bloody awesome for me. But they've dropped off the perch like a lot of things have lately. Um, they're a bit harder to move. I sold my big one, I don't know if you remember. I got it out of uh, an oppie a little while ago. Um, I put it on Facebook, I just thought it was time to go. And then Shane out of the market wanted it, so I took that out to him. But uh, yeah, these are the last two things I got from Corey. These are pretty sweet. So we've got the old ceramic dog here. I don't exactly know what this is worth, but I paid $15 for the pair. So there's this, and then there's also now this one. So a little cheetah here, so it's an old looking one. Uh, he did have them up and somebody else had locked it in, but they were a no-show or something, so I ended up grabbing that. Um, yeah, that's really nice too. So these are definitely older pieces, but um, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'll get from them. There doesn't seem to be any branding on them there. Uh, I might hit up B and Sarah car, see what they all think. Hand painted. Yeah, really, really cool. 